Hey everybody, welcome back to the PCP. Is it Kino? The most demonetized episode yet. I am Simeon Jimmy, joined as always by Florian Himsel. Yep, you finally made us watch this movie. I sure hope you're happy with yourself. Hey, 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 I didn't make anybody do anything. It's the PCP. It was the people's choice, Florian. Yeah, nobody could have predicted that this movie might win. <laughs> uh, we've also got The Weekend Warrior. I'm still not sure if this movie is a comedy or a serious commentary or whatever the fuck it was. Well, it's neither times... of those things. Were you yeah, just laughing the entire laughing. movie or what? I think it was. this was like the third time I watched it, so by Whoa. the time we got to the baby R word scene, I was just like <laughs> desensitized. Okay, and we've and also got, uh, speaking of baby R word, we've uh -huh. got... Wow. Florian Himsel. Oh, no, E. Rich McCoy. Uh, <laughs> no, Florian Himsel is correct. <laughs> hey, I saw the censored version. There was no baby R word in this one, all right? I can't believe people watch this more than once. What the fuck is Oh, I've seen this like 20 times, E. Rich. Jesus wow. Christ. I've been no, watching uh, it since it came out. Yeah, every day, every, <sighs> every hour. When I was 16... I also thought it was older for some reason. Yeah, it's like 2010. And I, I, was, yeah. I was 16 in like 2011, and me and all my Triflers friends would go down in the basement and watch movies, and this was one of them. Wow. It's yeah, a beautiful it all film. Up. It makes sense. <laughs> uh, this is a Serbian film. I don't know if we mentioned that for anybody who can't read, but... <laughs> we're What's reviewing. it called? It it's Serbian, but what it's, what's it called? The translation well, is just a Serbian film. Yeah, it's the Serbian film. You don't yeah, need to specify, you know? It's like I know it's Serbian. Long. What is the name of the movie? <laughs> oh, is this some sort of bit? <laughs> I guess we can do this for 20 minutes if we have to. Oh, well, yeah, so, yeah, so the yeah, title of the that. film <laughs> is a yeah, Serbian yeah. film. Hey, Irid, what's the, what's the name of the Bible, huh? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> it's called God's Words. <laughs> I mean, I know it's the Bible, but what is the name, damn it? <laughs> uh, would anybody like to attempt a plot synopsis of a Serbian film? Oh, I can try. Okay. We have a Don on his luck porn star trying to make more money for his family because they need more money. And he seems to be They need more money by... for singing lessons for his yeah. kid. <laughs> yeah, for some... Yeah, and then... It's just some bullshit, really, but... He gets roped back if, into the if world. If it was something of else, I could buy it. If it was something like <laughs> literally anything else, I would be like, "Yeah, I, I can understand his plight." But singing lessons for his little boy, and yeah. the mom hey, is already hey. practicing. Like, come on, that—that's a little hey, unreasonable. Hey. That's just one example of something that they need money for. You, Rich. It's not like he said, "I'm going to go do <laughs> one last porno just be. for these singing lessons." Oh, it could be. But I can't scary. afford to feed my family anymore. That could that's be a, it. But that's the point the triggering is that I'm, yeah. I'm spending thousands of dollars on Jack Daniels that I'm constantly pouring to stay drunk. I mean, but a bottle of Jack's like 20 bucks, are you rich? Yeah, he's got tons yeah, of money. He's like. constantly pouring and being poured for in this movie. But it's the bad. idea is he's a retired porn star. He was the best in the game. He can get his dick hard without even looking at it, touching it, nothing. Like, he can just control it with his mind completely. He's the ultimate porn star. And this, uh, this philosopher artist uh, <laughs> wants to hire him for one last job. It's going to pay so much money that he can retire permanently. It's a great setup. You know, it's that classic. I got to do just one last job and I'll be out. One last ride. <laughs> and uh, that last job always ends up being probably the last moments of their life in these movies. Right. Spoiler. Oof. Yeah. Oh, my God. Spoilers for a Serbian film. A 14 year old film. Yeah. yeah people are just <laughs> waiting to see a film that we're going to spoil in the next 20 minutes anyway. Spoiler yeah. alert. <laughs> All right, so so I guess Eva is just the only one who hated it then. Oh wow, you guys like this movie? Wow, I don't, Florian loved well, it. I did not like it. I, wow. I it's yeah. just fucking weird. It, it, You've seen it's it three like, times now. So wh yeah. what have you gained from the, yeah, from what's the your next excuse? three times? Uh, it's still the the last sequence is still funny as fuck to me. I cannot take uh, it seriously, yeah. despite the movie. Of movie to me. Like it, it's too over the top for me to take it seriously. It's like. Oh yeah, it's it, bloody gory fun. The, yeah, it's like um, I I the, I remember the first time watching it. I, I I could I was asking myself, what am I supposed to get from this sequence? Pure entertainment. What am I to, yeah, but it's it it's like shot in it's like supposed to be tragic. Like 
they, 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 it, it, it reminded me of that quick cutaway with the Greek painting thing, and they set it up to be something like that, the scenery, and then, and then the, the art, the, the 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 Vulcar guy, what the fuck his name is, Vukmir, Vuk- Vukmir, Vuk- yeah, Vuk- fu- yeah, fuck him, yeah, exactly. So, no, that, that's a guy, great th- character. I could do like a whole essay on Vukmir <laughs> because a- as a villain. <laughs> What's oh, powerful okay. about him is that he's very genuine, and even as he's yeah. like dying, like in his final words, he's still so passionate about the art, and that like yeah, his own death is part of the art now, and he loves it. Yeah, it's like Kino for real. He says while he's choking on his own blood. Like, uh-huh. Yeah, he's and, <laughs> pure Kino. It's pure Kino. Bravo, Kino, bravo, Kino for real. <laughs> and the, but, and then but, it's like it's so it's so it's supposed to be tragic. But why am I laughing? It's like it's it, <laughs> it, it's so weird. It's like fucking with my head. Well, it's and really the- strange because like I I think that it builds up what's gonna come fairly well. You know, there's there's lots of dark things happening, but in the end, it just completely loses its shit and and makes up like the most insane thing. And then <laughs> and then Vladimir or whatever his name is, he. Like, he's not even, like, the boss or whatever. Like, his death was supposed to happen, right? But then there's other people that were filming it all because they, I guess they must have hired him to do this, right? So, like... I, I, I think I, the I, idea is more that oh, he, he was hired by some rich benefactors to make uh-huh. this to fucking make child porn. Stuff. And in the real world, there are child pornographers, and you have to imagine that they have to be sociopathic to some extent and i think that's what volkmir is like he is he thinks what he's doing is real art but he's just making fucking horrible exploitative child porn and rape so like you yeah. need a guy like that to even produce the art like he needs to be convinced that it's art i i love how the how the woman is so into it she's like oh yeah this is gonna be great art and she actually knows that she's just gonna be fucking a donkey and that's what she thinks <laughs> art is it's it, like, like everyone's insane <laughs> Did anyone but, else? Did well, you guys I, notice when when the bald guy uh, was beating up, killed the guys that were beating up our hero? He was trying to take the pants off of one guy. Oh yeah, and, and then Vuk, Vuk, we had to tell, no, not yet, Rasa, not yet, not yet, well, not not now, not now. And that bald guy with a with a uh, d- film tape tattoo on the back of his neck uh he's like the most <laughs> fucked up guy in the whole movie because he's the one who yeah. uh does the newborn baby scene like that's him uh oh, that was him holy yeah shit. yeah that was him it, yeah. yeah he kills like two random hoodlums in the street and then tries to take off their pants yeah, uh he's gonna rape the corpse and then underneath his sunglasses <laughs> we discover he's missing an eyeball so his fate is that uh like a 10 inch cock gets shoved through his eye socket and into his brain to kill him oh is that, that- Oh wait! Oh, I yeah, guess. That's, oh wow! That's I thought that was like an actual idea when that happened. Oh okay. no! I don't. I so. don't in any way understand this movie because <laughs> the newborn porn thing is something that they did earlier, right? Yeah. How is anything they're doing in this movie more extreme or more fucked up or more worse? than that that they already did well because uh, you don't want to watch the same video every day rich you need to switch it up you watch the same movie every night he's talking about as if he's like creating some incredible different crazy thing well it's a new genre which he explains yeah but he's already done that though that's not what the milos movie is about though this is about uh an orphan who's war hero father it's basically there's uh there's there's this family in serbia where the tradition is when the daughter becomes of age like 12 or 13 uh she will be deflowered by her own father but uh uh-oh this orphan her father was a war hero who died her mother is a horrible whore who gets slapped around a lot and uh, they want the, the plot of this porno is that milos who is jacked up on a bull viagra will be her new father figure and needs to take this girl's virginity and you would die if someone if someone injected oh, that oh come on that's, you, you that's a die. damn movie rich but but this is why you need to like milos as a character because in this situation where he's jacked up on things that make him so he can't even fucking think he would still rather grab a knife and cut his own cock off than fuck a child so that's a heroic character and yeah. you have to give Milo sh- some credit. He jumped out that window. Yeah, that that was scene was funny. They they like looked at each other like, oh, our talent jumped. <laughs> Catch yeah, the talent. I couldn't, I couldn't <laughs> tell what was going on at times because it's constantly like either 
backtracking to things that already happened and he's like remembering or something like that, and I couldn't tell whether it was something that actually happened. So he doesn't have a dick for like the last he never no. no, he doesn't cut his dick no, off. He has his what dick. What the fuck? He then threatened to do it. About that wow, then. wow, Erich, I Oh he threatened no no Erich, he threatened to cut his dick. Yeah, he shoved oh, yeah. he puts a knife yeah. up to Why his cock and it's it? bleeding. Why did because he do it? he decided Why did to he jump? Do it? Because then he jumped yeah, out know. the window. It, I, yeah. I, we saw specifically him not cutting it off, Erich. Jesus. You you complain that I don't understand movies? <laughs> there's this is all crazy. kinda like there's all kinda uh, like nightmare imagery and you really can't tell what the no, fuck. No, no, actually happening. you can actually tell. You know why? Because he's got a huge fucking nosebleed and I'm always like thinking, please wipe your fucking nose, it's disgusting. <laughs> but the reason why they did that is because this shows us this is this is current. Milo, you know, and it's yeah. not the one that's reliving all the, the horrible shit, you know, and that's how you can tell. <laughs> There's always something like this in movies where, where you can easily tell what's what's present and what's remembrance, you know? Yeah, Erich, if you were going to complain about, like, flashing around in time, maybe we should go back to Madam Web. Like, I think this movie was pretty coherent. <laughs> Yeah, he definitely loved Madam Web so much. But it's hey, hey, then. we're 11 minutes in. We have not given Erich a platform to tell us what he thinks of this movie. So Erich, please uh, take some time. I guess he's taking um, So, yeah, sorry. The dogs were fucking, yeah. Uh, uh, should we um, let somebody else go while yeah, you put the dogs down? <laughs> Weekend, why don't you like it? It's just... It does, I, I kind of agree with the setup of the movie. It doesn't... It is exploitative, right? But Milos is retired and he's well off and doesn't really strike me as does he really need to do porn? Can't he find some other fucking job? Yeah, I mean, he right? could easily find another job, but I think it's it makes sense that he's accustomed to this lifestyle. So if he thinks like one last porn, it could be worth it, you know? Like, yeah, I think if, if a, they're offering him tempting offer. Yeah, the millions, offer that they give, right? they don't they don't tell us the number, but, but he, like it's implied he, that it's like millions and millions of dollars to do this one yeah. video. Like it <laughs> Like it I mean, it I, feels like um it reminds me of uh, you know that movie where the the what the fuck do you call that cutie is that um cuties the girl, cuties oh, yeah geez, it, this reminds yeah, me of cuties yeah. why no 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 it's like <laughs> can can you not talk about exploiting people without actually exploiting the subject matter right like like cuties is like about the sexualization of minors right but. Then you sexualize the minors in your own fucking movie. Can't you talk about? It's like it's that it's that catch twenty two thing where can you talk about exploiting people in porn but not do porn? It it it's like going there already, and it's kind of like uh. Well, uh, I I saw right? that they, I, I thought they were gonna get. A, and a pretty interesting concept here when when they were like, oh, it's gonna be great art, and then he just shows like some disgusting shit, you know. I'm thinking, <laughs> oh, yeah, wow, it's this, like this, this is gonna be interesting. How is he gonna? Is he gonna like, do it? How is he gonna cope with with it? But then, of course, we find out no, he he does not cope with it. He just he just kills himself and his family, and <laughs> and then and then what turns out is oh oh this was all part of it. Oh, he was supposed to kill himself. Oh, and they're still filming. Oh, and now they're gonna rape them. Wow. And at that point, it was clear that no, they were actually not doing satire. They were just doing like the dumbest shit ever and the most <laughs> disgusting shit ever. And they were just unironically filming it. And that was all that it has been. And that is why I'm disappointed by the ending. But I think it could have been good if, if it yeah. wasn't for that ending, I guess. Yeah, it, it, it's kind of muddled. Like, what, what, what are you trying to say? Right. I think if you want to talk about, like, I, I did some research. Like, the the director guy was going to talk about how the the film is supposed to be a parallel about how post war Serbia and the people in power exploit the weaker ones. But it it the the way the movie goes about it, I don't think that the message really came across that way. So it's it's really fucked. So. Yeah, I don't really know anything about Serbia history or politics or anything. So in my 20 rewatches of this film, I've never really uh, See, exactly. seen it on like a metaphoric level. And if they were trying to go for that, it might be an abject failure. But uh, just I, like I, but I'm not trying to get like that deep into it. Like this is a movie where just like the plot itself, that's all I need. So what do plot? you find what, it? What? 
what is what's there about the plot? The plot is he he gets recruited to do one last porno for this uh, sociopathic philosophizer, and then he wants to quit. So they drug him, and then he has to, uh, like, three days later, he wakes up, and he has to figure out what happened while he was, you know, out of it. Yeah, that's a good movie. I mean, that, yeah, I, I, I enjoy that part. <laughs> Jesus, Eric, you that. No. <laughs> what song is that, Eric? It's called God is a Serb. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. It's a Serbian national uh, war song. Well, Erich, it's been about oh, five really? minutes. Have the dog stopped barking so you can give an opinion yet, or...? Uh, yeah, I put it in the room. Oh my god. Wait, okay. wait sorry. I'm just gonna mute Erich then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Erich uh, is now muted, so I guess... What are you guys gonna talk about? Oh, he stopped? Okay, I'll let him mute him. Yeah, I stopped. Okay. <laughs> Erich, tell me why I should not like this movie. Um, I think it's just crass with, with nothing to say, and, like, the characters are laughable, and it's really just an excuse to show the most disgusting shit you can think of, and, uh, try to pass it off as something that's, I don't know, in some way commenting on Serbian politics or Serbian culture, but I don't know much about that, but I don't think it says anything, so... Well, you gave the well, film a half star review on Letterboxd, which wow. is yes. also pretty rare from you. So, like, mm-hmm. you, you think like every single other movie is better than this one? Yeah, that's yeah. that's pretty far fetched. Yeah, yeah, nearly everything I've seen like, is better than this. There's yeah. plenty okay. of redeeming E-rich. entertainment qualities in this film. Yeah, you E-rich. E-rich. Like what? E-rich. E-rich. What, what, what about this watching it? Are you like, yeah, I want to see more of this. I, I'd like to. Oh, I'd I'd watch. love to see more of Milo. He was he was great. I I love his his character entirely, and the fact that he he has to do this horrible shit, but he's too slow to understand it. But then he he does have his objections, and he really wants to quit. But then it was already too late, and he was drugged, and it all happened. I think that was really interesting. I think that could have really gone somewhere, you know. So I think they should at least get points for trying there. Maybe maybe my point about this movie is best summed up by the movie itself. At which point, I think M- Milos is asked, like, uh, why are people like this or something? And he just, like, responds by saying, like, because people are retarded or shit's so fucking retarded or something. And it's just like, there is a kind of European nihilism of nothing matters. Um, n- nothing, nothing makes sense or just fuck it all like it it doesn't fucking matter and so this is the like hero character and this is the guy who supposedly has a son that he cares about taking shitty music lessons um and (laughs) nothing about that translates to me what him loving his son does not translate to you um if he loved his son he would not do the things he's doing. Oh, that is so bullshit. There's no way that doing like one fucked up porn would even remotely be likely to harm his son. Like, come on, dude. I mean, Erich, literally e- e- Erich is famous job. for saying like OnlyFans girls should not be allowed near children because they post <laughs> pornography. Like they shouldn't be allowed to have kids or read oh, books damn. to kids at the at the school. Is, is literally this any Chris other job, Mark? if it was shady, you did not know the people involved. You tried to get background information on the people involved and you really couldn't get anything interesting. Like you got out of porn for a reason. You know no, the kind I, of people that I, take I'm, part in that, so why no, are I'm you? I'm pretty sure he's still doing porn. I, I think he was still doing porn. Just no, now. he, he, he was, was pretty much retired, but he was out. E. Rich, you have to give him a break. He does quit when he when he realizes it's a little too fucked up for him, and then well, he that's when they kidnap him. Involved in the first place. Yeah, that's retarded. Then there's no movie. Mm. Yeah, that's I'm, really I, yeah, bad. Yeah, not a movie I want to see. Next, so, you're going to say yeah. Scooby and Shaggy shouldn't have gone to the ghoul school. Then what would they have <laughs> done, <laughs> E-Rich? Except, no, no. <laughs> Monkey, in that case, they shouldn't have. Because at the end of that fucking movie, they just fucking run away. They should have done that in the first place. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they, they spend the whole movie schools. realizing they can be friends with the monsters, but then when the new monsters show up, they get scared and run away again. Yeah, it's so <laughs> What retarded. was the point? <laughs> yeah, save it for the next video, yeah. jeez. Fuck it, let's just oh, review I, them I, both right here. I'm just triggered. <laughs> oh, just, that just movie just triggered me. It, time. I think it's the worst Scooby-Doo movie I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll save it for the next episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. going back to the baby Rich, rib. I, I can't believe you would say something like that. That is so <laughs> stupid. Like, I, I, I can't believe that, that you just completely unable to relate to this character just because in the end it turns out bad for him. Come what on. What is there to relate to, though? He constantly drinks. He constantly, like, ignores his... 
wife and son. Well, he's drinking is not, not a problem. In... No, I, I, it I, well, is a good we, problem. I, it's obviously impacting how? his fucking ability wait, wait, to make decisions. Wait. I, no, just, that was uh, just, the other people are sober and they still went along with it. Erich, come on, try harder. Uh, okay, <laughs> no, to be I'm fair, talking to about be his fair, problem. He wait, probably wait. is an alcoholic. He constantly has to fucking lean on it. Like, uh, I think maybe the the movie is trying to say that he's trying to kill his boner at all times. Yeah, yeah Rai like, kills your it doesn't erection. Fucking work, but it doesn't it's, fucking work. Well, so he had why to, is he, 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 he stopped dude. drinking. He still has that control. He still has that ability to do wh whenever he wants. Okay, Weekend, no, what, what, what were you trying okay. to say, Weekend? No, just to be fair to Milos, I think he was drinking uh -huh. to cope to cope with the bad shit he's doing. I, I, that's what I got from those scenes. Erich, let's see you fucking live in Serbia and not be an alcoholic. <laughs> like, shut the fuck yeah, up. I'll, you have I'll no fucking, fucking clue. You fucking, you fucking pay me to fly me out to Serbia and I'll fucking No, go live there and don't job. be an alcoholic. <laughs> I'll find a low-paying job. Yeah, I bet. Wow. Yeah, I, I bet you can't wait to find a low-paying <laughs> job. I, I can't wait to work 12 hours a day making two bucks an hour and then go home and not drink. Yeah, you know what? Fuck you, Rich. That is even worse. Like, your, your life is worse than Milo's, and you're just jealous, okay? Oh, my life is worse, huh? Yeah, you could you could have been a porn star, but instead you, you choose to work 10 minimum wage jobs, okay? Why would I want to do that? I Why see... would you want to be a porn star? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to wow. do that. I want to see Everidge do porn. Florian. Yeah, I mean, we all do. Cagney Lynn Carter <laughs> just killed herself. <laughs> Who? Cagney Lynn Carter. So I, I guess I don't know. Oh yeah, she, she was a, a big deal. Yeah, she that was a porn star that I saw in the headlines who yeah, she killed herself. Oh yeah, because people like E. Richard, you know, <laughs> judging them so harshly for doing porn, I'd probably kill myself too. No, there, yeah. there's a lot of jobs that have a pretty big uh risk. Since uh, when are you anti-sex worker, E. Rich? I thought you were yeah, like a lift I, I don't I don't mind sex work, but like That's what porn is terrible people. No no no, but there's terrible people within the the sex industry. There, there's terrible people within that industry who take advantage of people. Yeah, and, Amaranth, yeah. but then you know that's just one. The Amaranth just, just, I don't know, man. I think the Amaranth tips are stupid as fuck. <laughs> oh no, shit. Yeah, yeah she's like a proven liar just to make more money. Yeah, she said that she was being forced to do OnlyFans by her ex-husband or her husband or whoever the fuck. And then after that, she still keeps doing her OnlyFans. What a fucking yeah. liar! And the the implication was that she didn't want to do that shit. Turns yeah, out that was a fucking you lie. Do it. Jeez. Just yeah, let, just 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 let her do OnlyFans. Jesus. No, I, no. I'm my point is, Florian. She milked her audience. Like, just be honest that you like doing OnlyFans. I mean, you should but be milking he, your audience. I don't see. The but she was milking them with a lie, saying she was being with forced to do it. Yeah. That she didn't want to do it. That, that's my uh, problem with what she said. Not not that she's doing it. Yeah, she would be milking him with a blowjob, right? I, I think <laughs> in, in, in terms of objective morality, Amaranth is worse than Volkmir. Whoa. I agree. <laughs> no, no, I agree because I, to some extent... What? No, At least Volkmir thinks he's making art! Yeah, I mean, like... Volkmir thinks he's changing the world, like he's contributing to culture. That's what he's <laughs> thinking. Child porn? Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. But, but at least he, he thinks like he's doing something genre. good. Yeah. I'm, yeah. He, he's gonna make his country great again by by yeah. doing that. Wow. Brilliant. Uh, he, actually, he's not from Serbia, right? He was just no? visiting. Well, well, he's gonna make it great anyways, I guess, in his opinion. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, any other things from this movie we should talk about? I mean, I think we should explore uh, more about how why Erich can't relate to, to sex <laughs> well, I mean, work. This is, this is really interesting. Being unable to relate to anybody in this movie is probably a good thing, but... Yeah. I mean, like, Milo is just trying his best. I don't know. I really think he, he was doing a, a good He's, job. Oh, you don't gotta tell me, Florian. I've seen this movie 20 times, Florian. Milos and Volkmir, those, that's my protagonist, antagonist, yeah. fucking <laughs> ultimate pairing. That when Monkey sleeps at night, there's a poster of Volkmir and Milos. Yeah, and Volkmir's clapping, he says, Bravo, Bravo, Bravo. Wow. <laughs> it's just that final scene. Oh my god. Well, Erich, no answer. He's, he's still, I think he's killing the dogs. He's dogs. Yeah. yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now he's that making an OnlyFans because we inspired him. Okay, yeah. so so Monkey, what is your rating of this movie? Is it 10 out of 10? So uh, I gave it a rewatch last year when I started my Letterboxd account, and at that time I gave it a uh, 4.5 out of 5. But on Damn. this rewatch, I felt like um, 
the first hour is a little bit slow, uh, some pacing issues maybe, but like the final 40 minutes that they're building up to, that really is like 10 out of 10 for me. I love the ending. But the, the buildup might be a little bit too much. There are a lot of things that in the editing bay I would probably cut out. Like those scenes where they're explaining to their son that there's like a, a little family of something inside of him and that explains like why he's Ears. feeling horny. Or what, like, I, I would cut all that shit out because it doesn't really add I anything that for was me. Relatable. I don't, okay, do you, I, when you get horny, do you feel like there's a little family traveling in okay, your body? Okay, thank you, yeah. thank you. I'm I glad we're talking about I think he's had their gears turning in his How, body, how old is this kid? I guess like, he, he's about to start school, so he's probably like four or five. Yeah, he's very young. Four or five? He's, he's not explaining he, this shit to a four or five year old? Yeah. This, I mean, is, he, this he movie is so fucked up. Too hard. Florian, oh, come on. Florian, Florian, you're gonna do this to a kid? What? You're gonna not explain anything? Is that better? Like he's to already a four gonna five year old. Dude, he's gonna be choking it anyway. <laughs> like, come on. He's not years old. Not for like for like at least seven more <laughs> years. Jesus. Well, wow. Lino specifically. Florian loves to expose children so to sexual topics have. and content. Oh my god, oh, Everich, why are you getting so I upset, Everich? I should oh have expected god. this from the European uh, <laughs> guy on the, on the show. <laughs> okay. Wow. Well, I, I thought it was a, a, a good father son moment. Okay, jeez. Well, Everich, I was talking about how. Um, my rating has gone from a 4.5 out of 5 to just a 4 out of 5. <laughs> oh, just a 4 for what? Uh, because I think the opening uh, hour has a f some scenes uh, that are just a little too slow. And I, I was bringing mm -hmm. up the like the traveling family scene. Like, I would cut that shit out. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it, it's like, good to build up that his cop brother wants to... Like, he's super jealous and wants to fuck his wife. And he's, like, watching mm -hmm. his own brother's pornos. And he can't believe that his dick stays so hard. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the brother uh, is there at the end. Amazing, amazing character. Yeah. Like, um, yeah. amazing. I like when he jerks off in the sink. Everyone involved. And and then yeah. his and then the the sex work he's sleeping with says, "Oh, well, if you don't know how to stay hard, I guess you'll never stay hard." Like, wow, yeah, so helpful. <laughs> Some incredible stuff. <laughs> yeah, I guess he's just not man enough. Just rip. It's very Wait. odd to watch your brother fuck other women while you're staying soft, <laughs> like the entire time. Yeah, at least I stay hard when I do that. <laughs> yeah, but you see, <laughs> like either either like end of that, like not wanting to watch your brother, I understand. Getting hard while watching porn, that I understand. But not getting hard while watching your brother fuck, I don't. What is it for? So his Why? his brother is just insanely jealous of him and uh -huh, his lifestyle yeah. and his wife, and he's like dedicated his whole existence to being jealous of his brother and his big dick. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it look, happens. What, what stunning, sparkling uh, writing in this movie. What, what amazing <laughs> acting. Uh, it makes perfect sense, great. okay? Yeah. Like, his brother has... It was definitely his shot. Brother... I'll, I'll give him that. They definitely shot a movie. The, sure. His brother has a similar DNA, you know? If anyone knows how to use that <laughs> dick, it's, it's going to be his brother, okay? It's, uh -huh. it's probably the best research he can do, all right? So don't give him shits. Well, wow. e, e Rich, I'm going to force you to say some good things about the movie, so please feel free. Mm. Uh, you didn't like the climax when he's like bashing Volkmir's head into the ground and Volkmir's just saying bravo this is true cinema no not really. really like that's pretty kino like uh, an, an artist a director who's insane and his own death is part of his art and he loves it like that's pretty good it was probably made pretty cheap if I had to guess okay wow yeah, they live in Serbia, so um, everything's probably pretty cheap. <laughs> if it, if it was shot on location in Serbia, that's a pretty big. Plus. Where where else would they go to shoot this? Uh, I don't know. You you, know, you never know. Maybe Croatia. Maybe if Hungary has a, uh, I'm sorry, Hungary. They have has tax better, breaks. Uh, yeah, tax incentives. Maybe they'd go there. <laughs> okay. Uh, should yeah, we just do some final sure thoughts and move on to the next PC poll? <laughs> well, I, I would like to know. Uh, like, what do you think specifically of him killing himself and then, like, the other guys revealing that they've been filming and that they're going to rape the corpses now? What, Like, do you really think that was good in any way, Mumkey? Because I thought that was retarded, like, beyond belief. <laughs> uh, the, the little twist at the end, um, I think you're adding a, too many of your own interpretations to it. I, I don't think, like, every single thing in the movie was, like, an elaborate scheme that was planned. They definitely did not plan on Milo's taking back control and killing everybody. They just wanted to film him fucking his own son. 
Uh, so I, I, I don't think it was like an elaborate scheme. But in terms of the family, like when all is said and done, and he's sitting in the shower, all depressed, and you know they're coping, and they realize. Uh, wow, you raped our son and I was raped by your brother. We're all so traumatized. We can't live anymore. Let's just lay in the bed and do a family suicide. And I I thought that was beautiful and it should have ended there. I I don't really care for the twist myself, but it's whatever. Yeah. Yeah. That twist is is so stupid. Like what, what were they filming there? Like why were they already there? I think the idea is we're making the edgiest movie ever. What's like yeah. the punchline? Like, what is the final edgy thing we can do? Oh, they're gonna rape the corpses of these people. Why not? Yeah, I don't know. That's like, I guess at that point they're just like, admitting that it was all just dude, edge and had nothing to say. I think it mostly was certain, just edge to a certain yeah, I mean, extent. I guess so that that does not affect me anymore. Like, once you well, yeah. show newborn porn or like at least like hint at that, everything after that is not effective to me. And it just comes across like masturbation. It's just like meaningless. Like, yeah, I was masturbating to the movie, too. All right. Great. great. (laughs) Yeah, Um, yeah, it's just not worth doing. Not worth my time. I'm putting it on the poll again. So you have to keep (laughs) rewatching. If we if we did a poll that was if it was a Serbian film versus Hobbit battle five armies, what would they vote Uh for? Yeah, I wonder. I mean, Personally, and maybe like people will vote for it and they'll prove me wrong. Personally, if we've only done a 35, 40 minute episode on a Serbian film and they vote for a Serbian film again, what do they want us to talk about? <laughs> I guess we did talk about Black Panther three times, but like, did we? Yeah, I don't, we the did. third time, I don't know if we even talked about the movie. <laughs> what? I feel like I'm Milos in a way. Like, what do people want from me? What, what do I? What do I possibly say in this? Well, it's, it's, people it's, do really like it when you get mad at Florian, uh-huh, and we got uh-huh. lots of that today. True, true. So they just want to see Florian, that. Like, and you'll be so pissed Florian. if we have to watch this again. Like, they just want to see you mad. Florian, bravo. Thank you. You fucking <laughs> what, what? proved me right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to murder you now, monkey. I guess. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, Mumkey yeah. and I said that uh, whatever Florian liked, that was the uh, wrong opinion. So uh, you proved me right. Thank but he, he was pretty mid on this movie. So I think that's the wrong opinion. You should either <laughs> Florian, love it or hate you it. Liked it. Would you say you liked it? Eh, I, I think like 3.5 out of 5, you know? Hey, that's, like, that's not bad. I, if I'm giving it a 4, that's pretty close. That's a big Yeah, I yeah. guess it is. Yeah. Yep. So I guess I, a broken Austrian is still right twice a day. <laughs> what a fuck! <laughs> so, Boy, like, do what? you know any I, Serbs? Do you know any people from Serbia? I guess, but not really. What do you Milos? mean? Yes, do you or don't? <laughs> Dude, I don't fucking know. Like all of those those countries in that area, I keep confusing <laughs> them every time. Okay, holy, like, it can't oh, be done. No. They should all just be part of Russia. Uh, <laughs> we should just become one big EU. Okay, that's what needs. Yeah, to all of Europe should just be Russia. That'd be good. What a fucker. I think Putin should be in charge of Florian's fate. Yeah, I bet you think so. Wow. <laughs> How many Serbians do you think have seen this movie and like either think that it's a good representation of their country or like people oh. watch a Serbian film and that might be their only like exposure to anything Serbian? I assume that they played on TV every Independence Day. <laughs> I think everyone is like... Uh, saluting when they play this and uh, is there a serbian yeah. independence day because I, if, I if there like is they should play so. this movie let's let's google that shit yeah. jamie pull wow. that shit up <laughs> well i think that, i think a lot of serbs are very self-deprecating so they probably oh yeah won't. It's, a, it's a statehood day oh what day what day it's it it passed uh feb 15 to feb 16. Uh, okay so this is pretty oh, good timing wow. Yeah, that's not so bad. so every Feb 15 wow. will come back to review a Serbian <laughs> film. <laughs> I'm down. It's like, no, you just can't wait. Uh, Iris, you wouldn't review yeah. this once a year for the rest of your life. I'll I'll review it. I, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna watch it again. <laughs> oh, I forgot. We're supposed to give Florian a quiz to see if he really watched the whole movie. But I guess yeah. He, oh, yeah. 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 But Iris is the yeah. one who wasn't paying attention clearly because no, he thought no, he, you no, thought that Milos cut his no, cock off. <laughs> Fuck you! No, no, no! Like I think it's, yeah. I think it's a little bit up for interpretation. Not no, it's no, it is. Like, it's definitely not. I have to disagree. No, no, no. That, that's not. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant to say. What, what I meant to say is like it's somewhat unclear because of the backtracking nature of the movie. What exactly? No, most things are pretty I, clear actually. I, I, I have to disagree You're with that. Flashes Rich. of like 
thing. No, no, because Flash because is like sensation. Because when you get to the last part of the movie, that's when he real he recalled what his wife said that it was supposed to be the 18th, but it's now the 21st. So he realizes that there are, there are black days on his head. So no, that's why yeah, he starts the investigation. Mm -hmm. So so that's why the flashbacks are justified at that part, I think. Well, he takes the drugs, and then we see like yeah, like cut, every cut. everything flash on screen real quick, and then he yeah. wakes up, and then the worst thing has happened. His cute little car was replaced with a decadent, disgusting BMW. <laughs> and he has to figure out what happened. <laughs> but, but yeah, no, it's disgusting BMW and very nice. Yep, so decadent. He had such a cute little car, but anyways, like you can retrace what he did. He, I think, yeah. the first thing that happened was that he, that he fucked that woman and cut her head off. Yeah, and then at some point yeah. he he got he got raped by that other guy when he was knocked mm -hmm. out. Yeah, the guy who he punched uh -huh. in the face for holding him in a chokehold while he was getting a blowjob. Yeah, what was up with? Oh yeah, that guy. Okay, uh, why did they restrain him after he chopped her head off? Like, I, I, I he was going it. wild. He's like a wild bull. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess that he could yeah, kind of Vol protect them. Volkmir was like, "You're, you're, you're my goat. You're my." You're, you're, <laughs> oh yeah, what does he say? He like wants to like take a monk's yeah. <laughs> semen yeah. and would, mix it with milk. Or... Would like trap a bunch <laughs> yeah. of sheep, sheep or something. Or yeah, goats, goats. in uh, in like a chamber, and then they would all be like swollen ball, like ready to come. <laughs> And then you yeah. take all of the cum and then all of the blood <laughs> and mix it together and make it in like a bread or something. It makes the greatest spread butter, he said. Florian, yeah. Florian yeah. do you have that? Do you eat that? Yeah, yeah, see, uh, would you eat goat semen butter? This movie doesn't understand anything. Like, animals don't just randomly become horny. Like, humans don't randomly become that horny that they would do such Florian. a thing. It, it just <laughs> Florian, you know what heat is, Florian? But the, the, the movie, when an animal right? is in heat, Florian. It's the best time are... to be a white girl dog owner. Pretty sure those, <laughs> those, those goats would just like ram each other to death. I don't think they would fuck each other to death, okay? That's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Florian, animals go into heat, and it's when they're incredibly horny for no reason, and they need to fuck. I think that's the, the female ones that go into heat, right? Oh, no. <laughs> that mm. is the female ones. No? Uh, should we move on? <laughs> <laughs> to the next and, PC people, no, 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 and, no, and no, then no, no. he shot his no, no, family let's, let's in, do into some the stomach. Thoughts, monkey. Let's, I can't let's believe. Okay. I can't believe he killed his family by shooting them into the stomach. And then this movie's so retarded that they don't understand that that wouldn't kill them. That's in fact the most painful way to shoot anyone. Like wow. He's, he's, he shot them all in the stomach, and now they're just gonna bleed out. But no, I guess in the movie they just magically died, and it was all perfect. It's like crazy that this movie has such a, a low grasp of anatomy and, and anything. In general. Yeah, you can't say that shit when you have the lead character shove his 15-inch cock into some <laughs> other guy's <laughs> eye at the end of the fucking movie. Honestly, there should have been mean, more that's skull fucking possible. in this movie. Yeah, not enough skull fucking. Zero out of ten, not enough. Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> Is that I your mean, final thoughty, it... Rich? <laughs> uh, no, I, I'd like. Would you to... say? Th okay, this is. I'll go around the horn, give our final thoughts. Good, bad uh -huh. movie, bad, bad movie, or a movie you kind of liked, E. Rich. Let's hear it. Bad, bad movie. I did not enjoy my time watching this. I watched it in like three separate pieces across two nights. Um, I don't think Milos is a character that I empathize with. He would I rather him, would cut off his cock than rape him. a child, E. Rich. Can you not relate um, to that? But he didn't cut off his cock. But he threatened to, so they make the people fuck off, the and then he jumped out the window. Not, just like Obama, the red line has to be fucking, once it's crossed, you have to fucking cut off your dick. Like, that's that's what it what it should mean. Mm. Fucking cut off your dick. If he cuts off his dick... And Th then you would relate that, to that the character more? <laughs> that would be a big problem <laughs> if he did bleed out. Um, but yeah. he can't fuck well if he doesn't out. have a dick. Maybe they'll attach a dildo to him more, so is <laughs> Yeah. But, like, I don't know. This is the empty calorie, like, uh, isn't this twisted, isn't this fucked up? I, I, uh, I compared it to Ricky Gervais, uh, <laughs> where he's just trying to get a rise out of people. Hey, he's he just, just won to... uh, an Emmy for best stand-up, so that's a wow. pretty good compliment. And did a Serbian film win anything? I don't no, think it was nominated think so. for best picture that year. Damn. It snubbed. 
<laughs> best best foreign film. <laughs> yeah. yeah, foreign language film. Yeah, like I don't know, it's it just not interesting to me. You're, you're just watching some of the worst shit ever, and then uh, he does a triple homicide or murder side. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> triple suicide, uh, killing his entire family, and that's the end of it. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, what about you, wow. Florian? Well, I, I mean, I, I always thought that, that nowadays you just like movies if they're edgy, and I guess I'm, I'm true. I, I, I was <laughs> right, but I guess it turns out this one was somewhat of a good movie. Oh, I'm converting him. So that's good. Wow. <laughs> Do you go up to four stars, Florian? No, no, that's... Uh, uh, I think hey, my I'll, I'll take the 3.5. That's pretty good. Mm. Yeah, it's good enough, you know. It's, I think the movie would have been great if he was forced to live with what he's done, but he takes the easy way out, the coward's so way true. out. Yeah, suicide is the fucking worst. Yeah, it's too easy. Like, it, Coward. imagine, imagine if he had to take his child, whose butthole he destroyed, to the hospital. <laughs> now, that would be hard, you know. Like, he, he, he should, honestly, he should what that for him? Be, the movie would be so much better. He then had to like explain shit to other people, and you have like a yeah. Nathan <laughs> style of like incredibly awkward, incredibly like yeah, trying to figure out listen, a way to say it. They injected me no. with bull Viagra, and I I didn't uh-huh. know that the small child sized body under a tarp that I'm fucking is my own <laughs> child. You know what, D- doctor at the hospital? I think I get a pass on this one. The ending should have been the family and the piano recital of the kid. Uh, he, oh, his and, singing lessons like paid right? off, and now he's he's singing. Yeah, My it, dad fucked me. <laughs> yeah, and, and they can see Vukmir at the background, like Milo's is still hallucinating. And yeah, <laughs> everyone, and everyone Milo's like, died is fine. They have like yeah. the or whatever. <laughs> yeah, and and they're all like clapping in the background. Bravo, bravo, Kino. There should Kino be like for a, real. <laughs> there should be a police detective who's like looking through the like law book and is like, "There's nothing in the rule book that says you can't fuck." Fuck your son <laughs> when you're injected with full, uh, full oh, testosterone. So, you know, you know we what? Have to lay you off on a technicality. Everich, would you prefer a version of the movie where uh, Milos does not object to any of this and he just goes along with it and then he gets his big payout and it's a happy ending? Like him and his family is rich? Wow. Mm. Isn't it better that, you know, all that horrible shit happened? Is it after he's like fucked his own kid? No, because he would not have been drugged if he didn't quit. So if he just keeps going along with the orphanage storyline for their porno, he could get rich and nobody has to die. I'm afraid I disagree because I'm pretty sure that he was meant to quit and then like when he came back, he drugged him. That was like the the plan all along. I I mean, there's nothing in the movie that suggests that. No, he's... He 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 called. There was a call where he said, "No, trust me, he will come to me." Like, he, well, because he knew he was sending. Well, he drugged him with his drink, though. When the, when they were watching the newborn porn, he put something in his drink, and that drugged him in the first place. That's how he knew he would come back. Because the oh, chick was that, going to get him. I, I I assumed the call was before that happened, and then he was gonna drug him. Then. Oh, I, it, you might be, but yeah, they did drug him in his drink in that one scene in the middle. Yeah, I think he planned most of it. I think he planned that that. Mila would have enough and he would quit, but he couldn't, and then that would be all the mm. all the more interesting that way, I guess. Uh, Weekend, what are your final thoughts? Uh, it's a film I wanted to like, but it felt like the movie was trying to say something, but it really reveled in the exploitation and shock value, so it's it's not a bad yeah it's it's not it's a movie I wanted to like, but I'm still ambivalent it's ambivalent for me, but it's it's, I, it's, I think if the movie had had like elucidated more about the Serbian experience rather than just yeah. like, this is the Serbian experience, um, I might like it more. I might see what it's trying to go after, yeah, what, I, what it means I, I, overall. Yeah, Erich is on the head. Like, I don't have any context for why this is reflective of the Serbian experience. So I'm just thinking, oh... I, uh, I, I'm not going to go to Serbia then. <laughs> that's that's my conclusion. The yeah. Serbian tourism board is happy with this movie. No, because I'm like oh, I could I could get drugged with with Bulls, bull uh, Viagra. Uh, so oh, no way. So nah, it's yeah. If you go there it, because you're such a big porn star, they'll definitely drug you with bull. Florian, <laughs> what would you do if you were injected with bull Viagra? <laughs> He'd probably start I fucking. Mean, 
I, mean, I, I don't think I'd do anything. I think he'd call the sugar babies and say, "Come here right now! I need all of you." <laughs> yeah. Yeah, line up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Now, just Assemble like when uh, team. Milos' brother's watching the porn, they're like, oh my god, he's servicing three women at the same time, how does he do it? And then, like, Florian's got, like, eight sugar babies with his, <laughs> his bull Viagra. <laughs> just another day, yep. I always Florian's wanted to real Milos. You stick, you stick it into one after the other, after the other, after the other, and just, like, down the line. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's how it... <laughs> I don't I mean, I've never fucked eight <laughs> women at once, but I assume that's how uh -huh. it would go. Florian, your thoughts? Well, you probably have to use a new condom for each one. It's probably a big mess. Ah, uh, look at know? this guy yeah. using condoms. <laughs> yeah, you're just gonna get everyone tested each time. That's Florian's like a Serbian film would be him, like, apologizing profusely the entire time. <laughs> changing condoms every time. Wait, so like, it would be pretty sh good. Should we come up with a plot of our movie called an Austrian film? Oh, oh It's about Florian. <laughs> hey, uh, video game designer. An, an eccentric video game designer. Mm -hmm. yeah. He calls everybody his friend. Friend, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> that's like, that's I, what I, your AI yeah. does. <laughs> but he's such a he's such a hermit, though. And I think yeah. the, mm -hmm. the Austrian film, the real horror is he has to go outside to like check his mail, <laughs> and it's like Bo yeah. is afraid where everybody's insane. <laughs> <laughs> they make him into an exhibitionist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, should we move on to the next poll? How about your thoughts, sure. Monkey? Oh, I, I thought my thoughts were expressed pretty clearly throughout the entire podcast. How many right? times have you, you know, said you, you've seen this? Like 20 and, times. 20 times. 20 times. So you, don't, you don't want to summarize on, it. Like, on, repeat, for real. on repeat viewings, what have you gained from it? So what you uh, missed while you were away is that uh, I watched it last year and gave it a 4.5. Then on this rewatch, it, it dropped down to a 4 it because yeah. there's there's too many scenes that I thought were unnecessary in the, the first half. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if anything, uh, the pacing is a little too slow. Uh, everything that they're putting in is not necessarily building up to the end. Like a lot of it is just, just extra to fill in time, it feels like. Mm -hmm. uh, but... If anything, I'd say it, it should be more extreme. I don't necessarily need his mm -hmm. cock to be cut off, but I, you know, they put a lot of edgy, crazy shit in this movie, and I'm always down for more. So if anything, I'd say give me more edge and less uh, boring parts. Who would, who would mm -hmm. want this more edgy, Jesus? Like, just me. To just, me, the just crank movies are edge. Than this. I like the first the crank ones? movie more oh. than this. Sure, I mean, that's that's fair. I like the crank movies. I mean, yeah, the crank movies are like mainstream popular, right? Yeah. <laughs> of course, they're gonna be better. But uh, I guess that's my, yeah, that's my final thoughts. It's a great film. You know, everybody should check it out. Mm -hmm. Like, have, have how, your family. How young? How young would you? Oh, get your whole family. Movie? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. The opening family scene. Affair. The opening scene yeah. of the movie is a five-year-old watching his own dad in a porno. So I, I think <laughs> well, that implies that that. it's a film for all ages. Like anybody could sit yeah. down and enjoy this. It's quite literally a family film in a way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, let's move right, on to the PC people. Like and... Just like right. Fast and the Furious, this movie is about family. Right. It's about family. All right, guys. <laughs> okay, so what I, is it? So I got inspired by by Madame West, you know, and I I'm, I think we need to see Madame more. West. Madame West. Madame West. <laughs> Madame Webb, whatever. Uh, by, <laughs> by this great actress, and I I nominate Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh okay. my God, that's that's an inspired oh, choice. Yeah, exactly. Yep. That's actually an inspired. We do get to see her small titties in that film, right? Mm. Hell yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, I forgot. Florian is obsessed with small titties. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you Florian, like small what did you, what did you think Why? of the titties in this in this movie? Too too big. Uh, well, they were a little too big, but they were natural, uh -huh. at least, I think. So, his uh, wife okay. was pretty hot. Yeah, yeah his wife was hot, good. yeah. It's, it's crazy how that stupid-ass porn star thinks she's hotter than the wife. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, wow. I Like, try any harder? Jesus. Like, well, were you happy that she got all of her teeth pulled out and then was forced to suck a dick with just her gums? Did you like that part oh, of the film? <laughs> was that her? I, I... Yeah, that was her. <laughs> yeah. Because she, uh, she got yeah, mad at Volkmir and said, like, oh, you're going too far. You should just threaten his kids, blah, blah, blah. And then she was punished. <laughs> they pulled out all her yeah, teeth. I, yeah, that, I, I guess that I, I think that scene may have been a casualty of the censorship as well. Oh, oh why? 
no wonder why you liked it. You watched the pussified version, Florian. That's why Erich is so upset. He saw all the bad shit. <laughs> Look, the uncut version wasn't. It, it, it was pretty similar, but I, I think I must have missed the the pulling teeth. Okay, but like, well, they don't like pull they, the teeth they, they, on screen. We just see her. Oh, okay. Surrounded by them. her teeth, yeah. they end up in blood. They, there's a oh, lot that, in this then movie I, then that I've they seen don't everything. show you. All right, uh, except for yeah. I mean, the, the uncut version didn't have subtitles, so I had to watch the. The sense of worship was. Have you guys seen Human Centipede three or whatever? Oh, we yeah, have. Weekend, we I've have. Seen it. <laughs> do, do you guys we think have. that movie's? Wait, did did Weekend enough? not give us some sort of book report about that film? I, 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 I gave a report. Yeah, yeah I, I, I was here for it. that. Yeah. 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 So Weekend, like, is this is this movie worse than Human Centipede three? I think. Doesn't somebody I jerk off with uh, sandpaper in that or something? <laughs> I mean, I, I can't think, be worse than what's happening okay, in this, this movie. <laughs> I think the Human Centipede Free is is better than Serbian mm, film. Wow. Whoa. Because at, le- at least I understand the self-parodying aspect of it. Uh-huh. I don't get the context of why Serbia is this shithole country, So, which is supposed to be a commentary on it. So I don't have that context. I mean, so you don't I'm, really need that context that hard. What? Like, the, well, people I want... live in, the people that live there, they just see it being shitty. They don't, they don't always think about how it no, got I, there. But I want to see why the guy who made the film thought it was some deep, insightful political mm. commentary, which is what I'm seeing in, in Wikipedia and TV tropes. That's, right. what what's, that's what the guy is saying. Now, is that his excuse for when people ask him why he made this fucked up movie? Like, oh, yeah, it's, that's, it's actually that's another a deep, thing, uh, right? parallel no. for the society in Serbia. <laughs> or he just wanted to make this... Exploitative film, yeah, I and, can see that. And <laughs> I would, I would much prefer if he just came out and said, "I wanted to make the most fucked up movie possible." Yeah, because yeah. mm-hmm. yeah. that's that's what I'm looking for. It's like, what is the most fucked up thing you can put on yeah. screen? Mm-hmm. I would, I would actually prefer if he just said that rather yeah. than say it's political or it's artsy or whatever. Like when we make it, it an Austrian it, film, we will be very clear <laughs> that we just wanted yeah. to piss off the audience. There is no oh. point to this. Like, we just want to I just make you w- disgusted with the lifestyle of this man. Mm-hmm. I would have preferred it if it if it was that way, not this political. Wow, thanks. It doesn't come across. <laughs> it doesn't come across yeah, from the movie. It's painting at something, problem. but it doesn't actually. Okay. Why are we still reviewing this? We're we're on the PCP part yeah, of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so Florian put t- Fifty Shades of Grey. What are you putting on weekend? I'm putting on Plan 9 from Outer Space, a, a classic nice. bad Kino movie. So okay. let's see if the audience watches uh, wa- wants us to watch it. Can you uh, tell me a little bit about that? Because I've heard of it, and it's like a famous, uh, like one of the worst movies ever made, so bad it's good, yeah. but I don't really know much else. Is that all I need to know? Uh, it's it's basically some aliens are trying to invade Earth, basically. That's what about what, uh, Gay N-Words from Outer Space? We could review that one. <laughs> That's also... Whoa. That, I, I know that movie. That, yeah. I, I, Actually, that was one wow. of the first movies I ever reviewed as Monkey Jones like back in 2015. Say, yeah, are you allowed you to say watch. the title if it's the title? In 2015, I did say it. Today, wow. probably not. No, <laughs> no. Yeah. But there's definitely footage of me out there saying the full title of that movie several times. Mm-hmm. Several times. <laughs> you can put that also. Yeah. The, the, no, we're not putting the that on. The flamboyant no. black ladies no. from outer space. Yeah. I guess I guess it's up to E. Rich if he wants to put that on. But what movie do you want to have people vote on, E. Rich? Uh, I want people to vote for the Suspiria remake uh, from I think 2017. I don't fucking remember what year it was released. That yeah, also has there. Madame yeah. Webb, right? Yeah, she's it there, also right? Has yeah. Webb in it. Yeah. It, has, it has Madame Webb there. I you can't remember if she her. gets naked in it, but she's definitely mostly naked. Uh, throughout some of it it has uh uh tilda swinton uh dressed up as a man uh with a dick and it's a very ah, interesting oh, cool very interesting How... movie uh the end of it goes in completely insane and i think it's worth watching just for that so how does this bitch still keep getting jobs well you don't like tilda swinton no dakota johnson uh, well because she's a nepo baby <laughs> oh, i was gonna okay. say she's don johnson's daughter yeah and she's kind of oh hot. my god that's why that's no, she, no guys like she is like a self insert like she looks so average that every, any woman can relate to her okay that's why it's just like mm-hmm. harry potter like what, makes what, sense what, uh, what i mean the fact called. that she is in any way slim i don't think the average american woman can relate to that 
Wow. <laughs> you could say wow, I mean, but man, take a look I, outside of my house, dude. I mean, I guess it's just wish fulfillment then. I mean, yeah. like, Harry Potter's still skinny, even if he'd be in America, you know? But that's why they're British, I think, is that J.K. Rowling didn't want them to be fat. Mm, mm. <laughs> that was the reason. Uh, <laughs> I've been... Yep. I've been juggling some movie ideas to put on this poll. Uh, there is a sequel to Big Fat Liar that came out in 2017. What? It's like one of the worst movies ever made. <laughs> it's Whoa, like bigger, yeah. fatter liar, and it's no the, way. Like yeah. they, it's a complete ripoff. Like, uh, like I think the kid's name is also Jason Shepard. Like just the exact same. It's basically a remake, but in the modern day with like more technology, and it was bad. And I, I don't think I want to put that on. Oh, <laughs> I mean, just Big Fat Liar didn't win the vote in the first place. We just did it. I know we felt like terrible. It. I would win for sure. Yeah. Please put it on. <laughs> uh, I mean, I think the one I'm going to pick is also not going to win. I, I okay. honestly, I think Fifty Shades is going to win out of these. But I'm going to go oh, with no. I'm going to go with one of Jake Gyllenhaal's first movies, Bubble Boy. It's the oh, film of man. Uh, he's got it's uh, hypochondriac parents who force him to live in this bubble, like the the kid in Seinfeld. But he oh, cool. falls in love and wants to stop the, his crush from getting married. So he goes out on his own in inside a bubble <laughs> and he has a crazy adventure. Beautiful. It really I is mean, a beautiful I, film. Are we going to have Biggs on if, if it wins? No. Oh. Well, me and Biggs are currently uh, doing something called The Wheel of Jake Gyllenhaal. So we will end up <laughs> reviewing that anyway. But uh, I guess I want to double dip. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. We might not even get to that for like another five years on that show anyway. Yeah, it's, it's random, right? <laughs> yeah, so we've got Fifty Shades of Grey, Suspiria Remake, Plan 9 from Outer Space, and Bubble Boy. Uh, I think Fifty Shades is going to take this one. Yeah, probably. Same, same, I think so too. But who knows? Maybe we've got some Bubble Boy heads in the audience. <laughs> yeah, I can't Bubble wait boy heads. 50, 50 Shades. It's going to be great. Uh, you guys have any... Rise up. You guys have any plugs before we record our Scooby Doo Ghoul School review? I'm going to say that the script for the Suicide Squad video is progressing. Oh, <laughs> oh Jesus. Uh, Again, you gotta fucking to be, work on that shit as soon yeah. as possible because that movie, no, I, that, I, that, that uh, game is game. going to lose credibibility and popularity. Yeah, relevance. No, I, incredibly I, quickly. No, I relevance, think. Yeah. I think the March, like, um,. They're gonna, there's gonna be the first season for this game that's gonna mm -hmm. come out in March, and I yeah. think that's the only season oh, it's I'm gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, so I think it's. I'm gonna time it with that. So I'm just working out on the kinks, I, I, and I have a real job. So guys, so I, true. Oh, really wow, hard. nice. I'm juggling this shit. So I, 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 I already have what, ten pages. So, so yeah. Jesus. He's the hardest working man in Thailand. Yeah. You know what? Those lady boys won't fix themselves. Yeah. Okay. Those yeah. penises won't chop themselves off unless you're Milos yeah. in Erich's version of the movie. Mm. <laughs> so, so yeah, I'm gonna plug yeah. that. I'm gonna plug that also for the Scooby Doo one. So <laughs> good. Yeah. So stay stay tuned. Okay. Spoiler okay. alert for the plugs of the Spoiler next episode. Alert. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Florian, right, what's on anti-reviews this week, Florian? Uh, I don't think I got anything on there, but I got on my main channel. My I finally made my top ten list, and it's gonna eventually oh. come out. So, oh, top ten games of the year? Games? Yep, that's the one. Hell yeah, I watch Hell those yeah. every year, Florian. Is Ballfrog on it? No, it's the number one game every year. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I, thought. I don't put my own games on that. You should, <laughs> uh, Florian. Maybe. We found out that your Arch enemy rival, known as the Critical Drinker, has produced his own film and he posted the trailer. Uh, when this comes out, are we going to do an Izakino? I mean, sure. Okay. Might as well. Mm -hmm. How will we see it? Isn't it going to be paywalled because of his shame? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> it's, of his shame. if we can't well, find a way to steal it, then I guess I'll give him my four fucking dollars to watch his movie. <laughs> wow. What okay. What is it shame? So. Well, because like whenever there's a really retarded far right movie, it's usually behind a paywall, so that people. I don't think he's a far gonna, right like, guy. Boring. Most movies yeah, are is. behind a paywall. That's the entire <laughs> like the entire yeah. notion is they want to make money. Wait, they're not making movies out of the goodness of their heart for free entertainment, like yeah. I am on YouTube, what? E Rich. No, no, no way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Is he gonna make money? I guess. Fuck. I don't know. 
he I probably lost a lot of money making it. It looked a little expensive. Does does Critical Drink how many? Look, does he have a Patreon? What is his deal? He's got a uh, yeah, yeah, he's got a Patreon. I think like. If every patron pays him five bucks to see his movie, then he's, I'm sure, going to make some money off of it. Like, the ad rev alone from his movies, <laughs> from his movie reviews, I think the Madam Web review got two million views, I think, so. Damn. Wow. <laughs> yeah, why are we even talking about his finances? Who gives a, f a fuck about how rich this guy is? <laughs> I really yeah. don't want to give him money, okay? Damn. No, Flor oh. Florian is anti-capitalist. He's, he's a commie through and through. <laughs> That's not the Florian I know. No. I, I'm super capitalist. What are you talking about? I just, yeah. I das just capital. Hang on to all of my money. Orin is a landlord. He's like the most oh, yeah. capitalist. He is so the end the, stage of capitalism. Sir, so mm. the Julian here. <laughs> Don't say end stage like it's a disease. Jesus. No, it's end stage mm. because we're. Uh, listen, around the world, rent is skyrocketing and people are getting pissed. It's end stage because we're going to kill you. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> landlords are going to be killed in the revolution. You gotta look out. Lock up your door. Yeah. Yeah, totally. That's gonna be a revolution. You, if you, if all the poor people in society get fed yeah, up and want revenge, that. you think they're not gonna go for the landlords? Who are they gonna Have go they for? Have they never done that, Florian? Have they not? Yeah. You know well, what the French Revolution whenever, was? Well, when, whenever they did, it didn't end well. No, but I mean, not for a you. lot of people died. Not Mao for Zedong. anyone. Mao Zedong would uh, disagree with you, Cli uh, <laughs> Florian. Yeah, but that whole country just went full retard. I mean, geez, that's what you expi inspire yeah, me to. <laughs> the landlords were dead regardless. Hell yeah. yeah. A lot of other people too. <laughs> okay, E. Rich, uh, what can we find on uh, Letterboxd slash D Darth Revan? What? What's your name yeah, on there? Revan one one three eight, I believe. Okay. Um, yeah, I just recently watched Godzilla two thousand, a movie that I grew up watching, and I did not like it nearly as much as well, I. I thought did you like said it. last week you just finished watching all the Godzillas. Yeah, from the uh, oh, from Heisei Japan. Era. No, 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 from the Heisei era of movies. Oh, is that like a, a person? No, no, no. It's like there's different eras of Japanese history, and the different Godzilla eras are named after that. Oh, really? Yep. Why? Wow. I don't know. Somebody decided that's how it should go. Okay. Uh, what are you plugging, E. Rich? Oh, I guess you already uh, you did that. You can find me on x.com at T-Z-A-R-R-E-V-A-N. Uh, I need four more followers to get to 1K. I'm sure that I'll lose people. Uh, as well, but well, I, uh, I think in an episode that has not been released yet I did tell people to go follow you. So by the time they hear this, right. maybe you're over the hump Yeah, but I, there's churn so <laughs> maybe I'll need to get more people back I mean at this point though I mean, I, I'll just give you my account if you want more followers. It's like I, I don't use my fucking Twitter anymore. I earn my followers and <laughs> lose them. Yeah, I also earn losing them as well. I, I feel like I've uh, do we even have opinions that are worth tweeting out? Like, isn't it? At what point is it a little narcissistic must, to think that I your thoughts piss, need to be out there? I must piss off someone that they decide to unfollow me. I, I'm just talking about no, like it's usually just bought purchase. I think. Mm. I just feel like Twitter in general, I've kind of lost the zest for it. Like everything I see now is just engagement farming, like uh -huh. on fucking Reddit. Like it's not even a, a real place to talk anymore. Right. And the ads are all insane shit as well. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, but I'm fine with that. Yeah. I like the funny ads as opposed to like a fucking Nissan ad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what funny ads have you seen? It's, it's like random people will like make an ad out of their shitty tweet. That is like, I, en there I enjoy eating breakfast cereal, and they pay money to make that an ad. Or like I mean, fucking The Secrets of Engagement, or do you want some AI tips Mr. Beast, or Mr. Beast yeah. videos are on there now, you know. Yeah, and they're not even, like, identified as an ad either. Mm. That's fucked up. Uh, I guess we gotta review Scooby-Doo, so bye, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye.